Live at Taylor's Mark in Sacramento with more on their preparations. What's going on, Nat? Yes, it's going to be major, you guys. It's the first time the U.S. is competing, and it's happening all the way in Ireland next year. And I love that two of our very own Sacramento's finest butchering artists, I have to say, there he is, sharpening his knife while there, uh, are going to be competing. So there are two from California, and then there's uh, the other, there's a team of six. So the other four are all across the country. You have Paul here, he's been cutting since 96. And I just want to ask you, how does it feel to find out that you guys are participating? This isn't just something you said you've always wanted to do. Yep. No, we are very honored, very flattered. Um, it's a big deal. But uh, we're ready. We're ready to compete right now. I love it. And you know why they're ready? They do this every single day. So here, they're they're here for their segment, but really they're here to work also. They, they get here at around 6 every morning, and they cut the meat up fresh for all of their customers out here at Taylor's Market. Right now, Paul's working on some beautiful ribeyes. He tested me, and to be honest, I remember, and I got lucky, but ribeyes are my favorite because of the marbling. I feel like it has the best flavor. So now you're probably wondering about the competition. It's major. They have three hours, 15 minutes to cut apart. I don't know if that's the right word, though. What's a better word for that? To break it down to and process it. To break it down and process it. Put it into yeah, work, half a beef, cuts, right? eatable cuts. Half a hog. Half a hog. And then a whole lamb. So I was saying I'm using the word artist because it is an art. So what are the tips that you have to, for folks when they're trying to do something they're cutting? We're going to actually try. I'm going to try my hands, literally, at cutting this. Uh, they, um, they give me a piece of meat. The tenderloin is what they're going to have me try to do. Num number one tip, don't mm -hmm. cut yourself. Best. I think that's accurate. I was just saying, Safety maybe I first. shouldn't have a knife, but. Safety first. But he's giving me a special knife. That's a championship knife. That knife has one championship. Oh, oh I love it. So then, so safety first. <laughs> it has. It has. They actually won a competition in Oakland back in 2013, which is why they got on the radar of the folks who are pulling this competition together. So don't cut your finger. And then what else? So you're going to cut, this is a pork center cut pork loin. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cut some boneless pork chops. Okay. About three quarters of an inch thick. There's the knife. So someone else has done this before with a I microphone. Know. So there's no pressure. You want no to pressure. The, you want to hold the microphone. Hold the microphone. Okay, you explain to me how it goes. So All right. So you're going to start on this end. Okay. Okay. So you just nice even pressure, and then you put your hand there to pull it away. Keep that thumb out of the way. I know. I know. There we go. Like that. So, about yeah. That? Yeah. Okay. And then do another one, just nice and even. So worried about that thumb right there. A little too close. You know how this works. He said it's very. Sh I know, dude. Okay. And they do this about ten times as fast as I do. Can we just go ahead and take a look at Paul's pile over there? Hey, cutting. you're you're doing pretty good. Um, Not too bad. No, we might be able to. Don't go faster now. Oh Ugh. yeah, my fiance would be so proud. Oh come on, dude. I want to keep all my appendages attached to me. I, I know. That's okay. what I'm saying. Now she's picking up the speed. That's pretty impressive. I love it. Okay, so if you guys are interested, they said, again, this is an art, and it's growing in popularity. People are going back to the art of doing things the old days. If you guys are interested in learning more from the artists and professionals themselves, they'll be showcasing all their talent um, at the State Fair this year, as well as, at in September, the Farm to Fork, right? Correct. Correct. Farm to Fork Festival. We're doing a, we do a chef's butcher challenge where we have three chefs from town. They, they break down a half hog, and Paul's one of the judges. I MC it. The two-time defending champion is, I'll give him a shout-out, Adam Schultz from Waterboy. He's become a judge. We retired him. <laughs> so any chefs out there that want a challenge for this, uh, we're accepting challenges right now. And uh, one guy that's probably going to be on it is uh, Jason Azevedo from Esquire Grill. I think he's Hawk Farm now. But uh, that, right after that, then we're going to break down a half beef from Richard's grass-fed beef. And they'll show you how it's done. And I just have to say, before I go, nailed it, or should I say, knifed it. Yes, oh, I went there. Wow. Made the joke. <laughs> Check him out, you guys. This summer and September, you get to see oh. how the professionals do it before they head to their big competition next year. Okay. Don't be challenging anybody now. Stick yeah. to your